what is going on guardians and welcome to another destiny 2 video today we're going to be looking at the brand new revamp striker subclass for destiny 2 and as you guys know if you guys have ever played striker class you know fist of havoc is their main go-to smash a rushi or the smash a dashi class in destiny so let's go ahead and start off with the striker class and see if anything has changed what got changed what got revamped and what new abilities we could expect out of the uh, striker class so it says at close quarters a fist is better than any gun so that's what the striker is all about. Punching, punching melee. I wish their arms would actually extend a little bit longer, but hey, we got to do what we got to do. So we're going to start off first with the grenades. We have the pulse grenade, as you guys know, very familiar with in Destiny 1. We have the flashbang grenade as well as Destiny 1. And we got the lightning grenade. Everybody loves the lightning grenade, right? <laughs> that's what I thought. And uh, that's what we have as far as grenades. They're all the same as the Destiny 1 grenades. But here's when things get a little bit, a little bit tricky when it comes to the new abilities. So we have Towering Barricade. The Towering Barricade is a large barrier while you hold down circle that can be used for a cover or to seal off dangerous areas for a short time. So this barrier right here is very similar to if you ever play Overwatch, you know the guy that has a big shield and kind of covers everything. It's a big wall that comes down here and basically it stops any incoming fire coming your way that's one of the barriers you have available so you could use it to actually put it on a door or if you're holding down a flag or you're holding down a point you could put that up there and the uh you know the enemy could, will stop you know will shoot you but it won't hit you it's kind of like a bubble but instead of having a whole bubble around you you only have it in front of you the next ability is called a rally barricade now a rally barricade the cool thing about the rally barricade is that this one's actually a smaller version of the big one so it's kind of like a smaller version kind of like if you were sitting or kind of you know, uh, posting yourselves against a small barricade. Well, the cool thing about this is that it automatically puts you in there and you're able to peek, you know, peek out of it and shoot the enemy. So you can duck down, shoot, and then just peek and shoot and then just duck down if you're taking damage as well. Cool thing about this one that it instantly reloads your equipped weapon when you're taking cover. So let's say you shoot, you, you, you go back down, you cover, you'll automatically, your weapon will reload. Both of these are pretty effective. I think one would be more effective for suppression fire or when doing a raid. And the other one's more effective, especially for zone control or controlling a certain portion of a map when you're playing PvP. So very interesting classes. And kind of, you know, again, you have to play with each one to see which one works best. And of course, I'll have a striker class build for when we get either into the alpha or the beta or when we get into the, you know, the game actually gets released. As far as the jumps are concerned, we have the following increased height, which is com coming well away from Destiny 1. We have the uh, catapult in up, you know, this pretty just upgrades your lift makes you burst a little bit faster with more momentum and we have increased control this upgrades your lift for better direction control while in the air now do keep in mind there is no more titan skating so if you guys are thinking oh i'm a titan skate in destiny 2 titan skating is obsolete and is no longer part in the game so no more titan skating we're gonna have to put our skates away and put them in the closet next up we have the codex of the juggernaut that's pretty much your whole skill tree so the first one we're going to notice is called reversal melee kills immediately trigger health regeneration so if you punch someone your health will come right on back next Next up, we have the Frontal Assault, a powerful melee punch that grants you increased weapon stability. So if you punch someone, your weapon will be more stable when you're actually shooting it. Trample is Fist of Havoc, lasts longer when sprinting. Killing enemies with Fist of Havoc extends the duration time of your Fist of Havoc. This is actually pretty interesting now that we're going into a 4v4 scenario. I wonder how much longer it will be extended. Then we have the last one, which is called Knockout. So breaking enemy shields increases your melee range. So that means you're going to be able to punch a little bit further out. I don't know how OP or how far out you're going to be able to punch. If it's going to be similar to the Warlock melee at distance, or it's going to be a smaller distance when you're able to punch someone. So we're definitely going to have to investigate that in Midbuster we're just gonna have to take a look in depth look at how far that punch is actually increased and last but not least we have the ones that we don't know how you are able to unlock but we do know that you need a shard to unlock them and we have shoulder charge so after sprinting for a short time you press r1 to shoulder charge someone everybody knows how this one works and this is an ability you're going to be able to get uh, unlocked when you actually get a shard then we have aftermath fist of havoc this uh, disorients enemies and leaves a damaging dealing field of its way. So we have this too in Destiny 1. So it's quite interesting to see that we're actually going to need shards to actually get this one unlocked. We have magnitude, increase the duration of pulse grenades, lightning grenades, and aftermath. Really, really interesting one. I'm glad that they actually added them and puzzled them, put them in all together within one artifact. And then we have aerial strike, fist of havoc deals more damage the longer 
it, the longer it's in the air. So it's quite interesting because remember now Striker is a roaming super. It is no longer a just one slam type thing. You're going to be able to roam around with your Striker class and melee someone. Now remember, uh, just the Fist of Havoc smash is not going to automatically kill one person at a time. You're going to actually probably have to do it multiple times for you to be able to do that. Now you're also able to shoulder charge with this as well. So it's really quite interesting to see how this one works. I like the whole aerial strike idea. If you're jumping in the air, you deal more damage. I wonder if that's going to be a one hit kill. We're going to have to wait and find out. Let me know what do you guys think of the brand new striker class revamp. If you guys like it, if you guys don't like it, let me know all that in the comment section down below. And do you plan on running a striker when Destiny 2 comes out? Don't forget guys, for all things Destiny, make sure you keep it locked on this channel and I will catch you guys on the next video.